to start. Here's a new notifier that comes as a snack. And here's the so much need dismiss feature that comes by default as leader UN to dismiss them when needed. This was haunting me with the older notifier, especially with noise and vim, where the dismiss command kept changing. Now I can finally get rid of these messages, even though they don't stick around for that long. This is great, but are you ready for the next one? LazyGit fam, you know how I love LazyGit and check the video above to see more. And while I had my criticism of having to hack my way around to use it within the IDE, this new snack does it too. LazyGit within NeoVim. And yes, yes, I know there's a plugin for that. And it feels like LazyGit.NVim just died too with this release. Here's a shameless plugin for a plugin, haha. <laughs> My way of doing that until now was using Tmux Flux that pops a floating window on top of Tmux and then running LazyKit in there. More on Flux in the video above, but enough about Tmux, we're here to talk about snacks. Git Browse opens a browser of branches that you can use to look around your project. LeaderGL pops a beautiful git log pop-up with commits and the visual tree of branches, which is another beautiful quality of life upgrade snack. If you're rebasing, for example, you can actually hit a commit to view conflicts, abort the rebase session and more. The little branches even highlight when you hover on them. You can hit a commit to see the diffs it created and the commit itself. There's a bunch more snacks on the list like a rename integration for users of Neotree or mini files, a nice status column and here's another cool little addition that can upgrade your life. I've always wondered about the relation between NeoVim and the terminal. I even made the video above that covers the different options and my picks, but here comes snacks and gives you a pop-up terminal that you can trigger whenever, use and dispose.